Welcome back everybody to Lindley Rider's channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Porsche 986. Lindley Rider is not a professional mechanic and is not responsible for any personal injury or vehicle damage that may result from individuals attempting the repair shown in this video. You have been warned. Try to your own risk. If you have a Porsche 986 and you've ever noticed sometimes that one of your taillights is out one night but then it comes back on but then the other one goes out or one of your headlights is out but then that one's on but then this one's off and then that one's on or they're both off and it's not the lights. It is the headlight switch and this is an extremely common problem and there are already a lot of videos on YouTube showing how to replace it but I figured hey why not just go ahead and make another one and this is the headlight switch this is not an OEM switch this is an aftermarket this switch was about a hundred dollars so unfortunately they're not cheap and even more unfortunately on the Porsches they fail quite often but they're very easy to replace it only takes about 20-25 minutes before we get started doing that we're going to unhook the negative from the battery with the battery unhooked now we have to remove this plastic knob and to do that you need to pull it out and underneath of it there is a small hole that you have to push a small tool in to release the lock so you're going to want to get yourself a really tiny tool. In this case, I'm just using a really small drill bit and pull the knob out and push that latch underneath and the knob comes off. There we are. That right there, that metal piece right there, that is what you are pushing in and that releases the latch. Now we're in business. Now you're going to need a T20 tip and you're going to have to take off these screws here those are t20s and there's also a t20 down inside that hole right there the t20 that's down inside that hole i don't know if you can see it there if i shine a light down in there but it's down in there pretty far and my my t20 socket tip is not long enough to reach However, I am lucky enough to have a long T20 tip. In your case, you're probably going to need either a tip this long or you're going to need an actual T-handle T20 that you can reach down in there to get to that with because a, a socket T20 is not long enough to reach the screw that's down in there. After you got all three of those screws out, now you can get your trusty handy dandy plastic trim removal kit and actually pull this off. Okay, now that we got this off, you have to actually now get in there with a plastic tool and you need to separate this big black piece here is just pushed onto the pins on this red piece. So you need to get in between the red piece and the black piece with a little plastic tool and actually pry it off. After you get it kind of started like that, then you can just kind of grab it with your hand and just kind of pull it the rest of the way off. Just like that. Now you have to remove that little nut inside there. I believe it's a, uh, I believe it's a 24 millimeter. If you have a 24 millimeter socket, I do not, unfortunately. But if you don't, don't panic. It's usually not that tight on there from the factory. So, like in my case, you should be able to just cheat and use a pair of needle nose pliers and grab a hold of it there on the flat sides, and you should be able to turn it with a pair of needle nose. It shouldn't be on there that tight. So you don't have to run to the store just to buy a 24 millimeter socket. Thread it off and pull it off. Now go ahead and pull it the rest of the way out. Now after you pull this off you're going to notice there are three of these little plastic clips right here. There's one here, there's one there, and there's one on the other side as well. You got to get a small flat tip screwdriver and you got to reach into each of those and kind of pry it loose this way, pry it out a little bit this way. That one, that one, and then the one on the other side here. And now this plastic piece here should just pull right out. After you release this plastic piece, you don't have to unhook the wire harness down there. You don't have to do that. You can just kind of let it hang there. You just need to pull that out so that you could turn this thing clockwise, turn it this way to unlock it and remove it like that. 
and then you can get your new one now at this point you might be wondering well okay great but how do i know which which way was the right way well okay okay now if you look at this you'll notice that on top here there's a piece on top there it looks like it has a slot in it the bottom one is a solid you see the difference that's a solid that has a slot if you're holding the vent in your left hand over like this the slotted side needs to be facing up so you're going to want to put it in put it in with the slotted side pointing up if you're holding it like this then put this plastic piece back on it just clips in now you have to pull this black piece out of here with your hand and you gotta made it back on to the switch which is easier to do when there isn't a camera on you need to get that black connector started and then just push it back on again there we go and then push it back into position put the 24 millimeter nut back on snug it up with a pair of needle nose pliers or a 24 millimeter socket now retighten the torque screw that's down inside there and go ahead and put the other screws back in now sometimes you have a hard time with these aftermarket switches getting the plastic piece to, to clip back on it almost seems like it doesn't go down in far enough don't worry there's a way to get it back on there so what you want to do is put the plastic put the plastic dial on turn it all the way to the right pull it back off get your needle nose pliers pull the pin out and it will stay out if it's turned to the right and then get your plastic knob and put the plastic knob back on and it will clip on and you're good now we're going to turn the key on and we're going to check the lights voila and there it is there you have it it's really not that bad you can do it in about like i said 20 25 minutes maybe a half hour at the most it doesn't take that long but you got to have some specific tools you got to have a real small tool to get to that little release pin for the knob and you have to have a t20 you need to have a long t20 maybe a t-handle or something a couple other you know conventional tools but it's really not that hard to fix catch you later I wish I could say that making these videos was fun all the time, but they're, it's really not. They're really not very fun to make. It's fun to see them when they're done, but it actually is very annoying trying to do the work while trying to film it. You gotta get a small flat tip screwdriver. Oh. Yep. <laughs>